All right, question four, part A. Um, so these questions are a little bit different because it's not one plus anymore, it's now four plus. So the formula only works if you have a one at the front, so let's factorize that four out. So that'd be four lots of, and then in brackets I'd have to have one plus x over four. Uh, so this whole thing here is the same as this bracket, so that all needs to be raised to minus two. And using index laws, that's 4 to the minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus x over 4 to the minus 2, which 4 to the minus 2 is a 16th. So it's a 16th of 1 plus x over 4 to the minus 2 then. So let's use binomial expansion. I'm just going to leave that 1 16th outside of the brackets and um, worry about that later. So let's pop some big brackets in. Okay. So in this case, n was minus 2, um, x was x over 4, so we've got 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1 uh, multiplied by x squared over 2 factorial. And let's do the cubic term. So, taking away one again, this time cubed over three factorial. Okay, let's tidy up. So that's the sixteenth of one minus x over two plus x three x squared, sorry, over sixteen minus x cubed over 16 um, and we can multiply that 16th out as well if we felt particularly enthusiastic Asked us which range um, it was valid for. So every time there was an x, we substituted in x over 4. Um, so that's got to be less than 1. So that means x is less than 4. <coughs> 